The rain and the wind ripped through the view, viewing area overnight. Wind gusts topping 40 miles an hour hit parts of Butler County. Megan Schiller talked with one homeowner who heard a loud crash and then found a tree in her kitchen. Last night's howling wind sent a tree straight through this couple's kitchen. They have a temporary fix on the roof right now, but the couple tells us there are so many trees surrounding their property and they're afraid now. They say they might have to find a new place to stay. A gaping hole in the ceiling, pieces of insulation and splintered wood down on the kitchen floor. The wind knocked the tree over with such force, it pushed the kitchen island a few inches. I was watching TV, listening to the wind howling. Um, all of a sudden heard a smash, knew it was something pretty severe. Patricia Schultz couldn't believe her ears. Seeing them, even, you know, right out the window, that they're right there, I've always had a concern that something would come down anyway. Her worst fear, she said, came true. The strong winds pushing hard against the trees surrounding her home in the Baxter Trailer Park, and one gave way. She sent us these pictures early Wednesday. It came into the center island, and it just, it, it put a pretty big gaping hole through the roof. And just, you know, anything that was on our center island was smashed off. With her home's warm air quickly escaping, her landlord and a crew patched the hole. But Schultz said that this is the second tree to come crashing through her roof, and she doesn't want her luck to run out. So, yeah, we're pretty fortunate that nothing, you know, more severe happened than that. And just a few minutes from that mobile home park here on Protzman Road, the wind sliced through six trees, cutting them in half. The strongest wind gusts recorded nearby at the Butler County Airport, 41 miles an hour. Reporting in Butler County, Megan Schiller, KDKA News. The wind also brought down a tree in Torrenton. This is Allegheny Street, where you can see a large tree was uprooted and the roof of the home was damaged. And the man who lives in the house says his bedroom was destroyed. And had he been in his bed, he thinks the outcome would have been different. No one was injured.